John here again. And as you saw from the disaster of the previous video, where I, one, my debug code was wrong and, and all that, you, you'll notice that some of the game flow was in the wrong place. You know, the, the, the animation starting sequence was in completely the wrong place. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all the game flow code into the game flow um, section. So it's all kept contained in one place. So we're not having to figure out where we are, what we are, and when we're doing. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So hopefully this will be a quick video. Yeah, I know. The last one was meant to be a quick video and it turned out to be, what, 50 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty confident I can get this done in the 15 minute mark. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, let's get going, shall we? So, what we're trying to do is there is some game flow logic in this game code here and in the in the game lander code Re and really it shouldn't be there. What should we do? What here we should do is just detect whether we've hit the um, the background and set the flag, and then in the game flow code use that flag to determine whether we've actually done it. So <clears throat> what we need to do is we've already got this code in the game flow, but it's remmed out here. So what we're going to do here is we're we're going to check that the it has collided. So we're going to check the flag that it's collided. Then we're going to test whether it's in within the safety boundary. So we'll re-enable all this lot and this down here. But and what we're going to do is in the lander code, we'll rem this lot out. And the setting of the sprite. So basically, it says, you know, if we're in demo, see, we don't even need to have that demo mode now, to be honest, because the what we the demo mode was just to to stop it setting the um, collided. So even that can be taken out and put into the game log, the game flow. So we detect, don't even need that. No, no, we, we do need that. But we need this in. That's it. Right. So we test for it's collided. If, it, if it's equal to nothing, then it comes out here. If it's collided, then we can do our demo test. Yeah, branch not equal to dem collide, and then it goes on to here. There we go. Right, so the game flow needs to do. So based on game in flight, have we collided? Have we done? Are we um, set for the um, bar boundary? And if we're not. This is this is where we do it. So here is where we need to set the animation off. So copy that and put that in there. Unrem it. So what's this? So this is going to go. Have we collided? No, we haven't. Right, come back out. Yes, we have. If, is the high, is the lander x high equal to one? No, it isn't. Then we confirm that it's collided because it must have been a zero. And then it sets. We set it into dying mode and set the animation. If it's one, then we check the x as well for forty, which equals to two nine six. 
if it's greater than then we test the y bar y um, value if it's not then we confirm it's been collided and jump to here then we test y because we know now x is greater than the number we want is y less than this number yes it is right then everything's okay and we turn off the collision flag if it's uh, greater than that then yes it collided with something now we don't really need that now because the jump is to here so that should <laughs> famous last words that should sort it so let's just make sure that we don't need that anymore so I'll just rem it out for the moment and that should work right so we'll F5 it so it should do exactly the same as it did before got an error here we go label branch if equal not collided game flow line 617 ooh continue okay that's one for Arthur game flow 617 well, there isn't a 617, is there? So what's it saying? Not collided. That's there. What was the error again? Not collided. Invalid label. Not collided there. same thing minus 617 that's a new one isn't it this is game flow minus 617 how can you have a minus line number game flow branch if equal not collider which is there I'm just, w I'm just w wondering if this is now too long, too many bytes. Okay, let's create another temporary variable here. So, sprite collided, and instead of branch if equal, branch if not equal. To sprite collided and then we do a jump to not collided right see if that sorts it out f5 Still saying jump not collided. Minus 616. So it's definitely in the game flow. At 
Alright. Copy. Paste. There's no difference. Have we still got Lambda? Have we still got at? No, we take, we've got rid of it. make it a temporary one, we'll make it a permanent one. Game flow, not collided. Let's see if that sorts it out. Here we go. Let's see if it works. Is it going to fail? Come on. There we go. Must have been. Must have been something to do with the temporary variables and how how many bytes you can have. Right. So there we go. So we're going to move it over. So we're testing to see if our game code is still okay. So it's going to hopefully smash into the bars but be okay there we go so we'll push it this way so it'll fall into the scenery hmm we'll do that again So it's going to Yep, did it. For some reason it's flying that way very quickly. Come on. So it's okay, it's... Ooh. Right, we need to have a look at that. Because that must be the Y's gone off. Can't stop it either, because I've paused it. Okay. Do that again. I, I bet some of them are, when we do the recycle, uh, restarting, I bet we dot uh, reinitializing some variables. Right then, over we go. That's it, that should do it. So it's going to hit while well, it's going down. Yep, yeah, we're alright. Let's get some left hand thrust on it. So it should, boom, there we go. Oh, look at that, massive, massive. Left hand side on it. 
And if you notice that, um, the, ooh. That's gonna take some debugging, that is. Why is it flying off that way so fast? Here we go, come on. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Going into the red, going into the red. Boom. Yeah. I must be setting some weird variables. Anyway, so it just shows you now that the the game flow, what we've done with the game flow is now working. Because what we need to do in here is this is the check-in whether it's um, crashed. We also need to in here check that we've landed safely and set it to instead of game flow dying, we set it to um, game flow landed. So let's get rid of this out of here because we don't need it now. We're still going to do the demo code. Get rid of that. Don't need it. Get rid of that. Don't need it. We'll put it back to 60 now. And I'm going to leave these two separate now. Because when we do leveling and um, uh, hardness and stuff like that, we're gonna we're gonna have the lunar lander starting in different places depending on how you know how hard you want how hard you're gonna have it. Because we could have it you know very close to the ground or and stuff like that. So that we're gonna have some sort of leveling as well as scenes different different land, uh, lunar. Um, different landscapes so that has now done it so what we're going to do here is going to put a couple of comments in normal flight mode no collision Collision, collision, collision. Detect. Right. So this one. That's not normal flight mode, is it? This is the normal flight mode. Normal flight mode. Uh, check of collision detection. So here. So this code here
get something. Flight is normal. Collision was a false positive. So this is where the, we're going to have the landing code. Lander has successfully landed. Du, 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 du. The lander is currently dying. Explosion animation. Confirmation. This is where we need to check, because it says jump to check game start, which is back up here, I think. Yeah. Game start is here, so these setups must be must be wrong. So I'll have to check those, but we'll check them later because they're gonna get they're gonna get uh, per, um, per, parameterized when we start looking at doing levels and hardness and stuff. Alright then, well that was a 22 minute video. <laughs> um, so we've added the, the flow, we've made sure the flow, game flow is in the right place now. So the next thing we need to do is we need to work out the landing pads and code for the landing pads to make the lander not, expl not explode. So that will be the next video um, where we uh, start doing the success uh, part of the the game right with that i will say um, if you like this video click that like button if you didn't like the video fine cl click that dislike button always leave me a comment and if you like what i'm doing and you would like to support me please become a patron of mine um, i have various levels just pick one and that money will come directly to supporting this channel. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.